This short video is going to look at helping students figure out how to use a digital ebook or textbook without printing it out. So the idea is that you would use your book on a laptop or an iPad or tablet or even on your smartphone. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is download a PDF version of your ebook. All right. You can use the same basic process to download notes from class, whether it's PowerPoints or Word, and bring them into um, whatever app you're using. Uh, it's the same basic process. So after you've downloaded whatever document that you want or ebook that you want, you then need to import it into the PDF ebook reader. Okay. So how do you pick your PDF app to use? All right. There's some that come with your devices. You may already be using them and not even realize what you're doing, okay? But the questions you want to ask yourself is, are you okay spending a little bit of money on your PDF app reader? Um, or do you want it to be completely free? Or do you want a, the op option of having a light version and then paying for it, okay? Do you want it to work on a laptop and you're not planning on using a touch screen? Or do you want the option of being able to kind of hand write on a book like you would on a paper book? In which case you're gonna want a, a device like a tablet or an iPad that has a touch screen on it. And that will change potentially what app that you use, okay? Do you want to be able to use your ebook, mark it up, and then open it on a different device? So say go from your iPad to a laptop to your smartphone and have all of your markups show up. That's also gonna change what app that you use. You can sync devices. And then of course you need to consider your operating system. Are you a Mac user? So that means you're using iOS or OS. Or are you using a PC laptop? So you're using Windows or a Samsung Galaxy phone so that you're using an Android operating system on that phone. So that changes what you're gonna use. So I'm gonna give you a short list. If you wanna pause the video, you can read these through. I'm not gonna um, go over each one of them right now. Um, but basically, these are just a list of apps that I found that are either free or super cheap, and they were easy and fast to use. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate how to use an ebook in a PDF reader app, and I have picked Foxit PDF because um, it can be used on any device and there is a free light version. All right, so that's what I'm in. And if you look at the screen, you see what's going on. So now I'm gonna click over here on the English 1101 ebook that is being used in several classes. Let me change the view right here. So this is very cool. So if I click down on view, I can make this show up the way it does like a book, which is called facing, or I can make it continuous there are other options as well. This is gonna show you a list of the different uh, things that you can do. So you can add attachments. Here are all the comments that I've made elsewhere so you can move between chapters. Right there, this is the button that you really want because this is what allows you to just pick a chapter and immediately jump to it. Your eBooks, your e-textbooks, they're long. You don't wanna have to like scroll to get to page 70. You wanna be able to just go to it, okay? Now, right here, I'm looking at chapter five, all right? And I wanna be able to take notes on this. So I'm on my iPad in the Fox PDF viewer. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna click on comment and I'm gonna click the highlighting button right here. And you know what, I really don't want blue, so I'm gonna pick yellow. And now I can come over here and I can highlight this and it's going to highlight it, all right? If I don't wanna keep it, I hold on to it and then I can delete it, okay? Except it's not deleting. Let's change the color and do it in a different one. So you can change the colors depending on the different things that you want. And then that one deleted, okay? There it goes, now it's deleted. Um, I wanna switch to um, underlining. So I'm gonna pick this. Again, I can change my color. And if I do this, um, now I have highlighted and underlined that particular one. Now let's say I want to be able to write on this. So right there, I'm gonna pick that. So I'm using my pencil. I don't like blue, I want to pick orange. And now I can come over here and I can actually circle something. And then I can do things like say, look this up. 
or this is cool, or this is an amazing quote, or whatever you want to do. All right. And then these reviews, if I come back over here and I hit my list and I come over here to my comments box, then it will show up um, down here on, I believe, it, so right here on page 47. Okay. And it's showing, so this is right here that's showing this red highlight and you can move and you can um, then go to the different places where you've written notes or, or made comments. Okay. Um, and there are a lot of other features to the Foxit PDF um, reader. For example, you can take a picture of something in class, like of the board notes, and then you could insert it into the document in different places. So there's a lot of different features. I'm not going to go over all of them. Um, a lot of similar features can be found in those other um, uh, PDF programs. So if we come back over here to this screen and we scroll down, most of what Foxit can do, PDF Viewer can do as well. Um, I'm a Mac user. I really use Notability a lot. Um, and if you're just getting into this and you've got a laptop, a lot of us have Amazon Kindle. You can download that onto any app laptop, whether it's Mac or PC, and you can use the features in there. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video there. There are other videos you can watch that show you how to use these different apps. Um, and good luck.